Hey guys, Zot here and welcome to another Shadowlands First Look video. In these videos we take a look at certain new additions coming with Shadowlands, how they're shaping up and what their impact is going to be on PvP. Today we're going to be taking a first look at the newly added PvP vendor, something us as a PvP community has been asking for for some time now. Before we get started though, if you're as excited for Shadowlands as we are here at Skillcapped, then make sure to throw this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more up-to-date BFA and Shadowlands content. Unless you've lived under a rock lately, you would have heard about the uproar concerning PvP vendors or well lack thereof, especially in Battle for Azeroth. As it's safe to say, the majority of us PvPers are fed up with the way that you have to gear. To find out why, let's take a quick trip down memory lane and see how every expansion has had its own take on PvP gearing and vendors. Starting off with vanilla, gearing via PvP wasn't easy, but it was possible. Players could continuously grind on it every week to raise their rank and eventually start gaining a full set of gear, picking up a full set of blue gear which was aimed and optimised stats for PvP, prioritising stamina, reaching a full set at rank 10 with the possibility to grind more and obtain an epic set at rank 13 with weapons coming later at rank 14 which were the best in the game for some classes. The Burning Crusade saw the release of Arena, and thus Arena gear was introduced. Arena gear was obtained from a vendor via a currency called Arena Points. Arena Points were dependent on your highest Arena rating and rewarded with each reset. The higher rating you was, the more you could earn, and to be eligible to obtain Arena Points, you needed to play at least 10 games every week, win or lose, with again the option to buy blue gear for honour obtained from Battlegrounds. All of the gear from PvP vendors was designed specifically with PvP in mind and gave players using it an edge over those with PvE gear due to the stat resilience, which made a clear distinction between if a piece of gear was for PvP or it was for PvE, and for the most part stopped the two mixing. Players who pushed high rating in Arena would be able to purchase shoulders, helm and weapons for Arena points, so gave players wanting to push, something to aim for and an advantage over lower rated players. Essentially, if a player wanted to do only PvP, they wouldn't be at a disadvantage to those that played PvE as well. The system was so good in TBC that it was for the most part kept throughout Wrath of the Lich King, although PvE gear started to creep in, with more powerful trinkets and weapons being added into the game. However, players could still gear via PvP fully and focus on only that, only now at a slight disadvantage due to the PvE power creep. Although they decided to rework the system with Cataclysm, but not too much. Arena points were scrapped and in their place was our first exposure to conquest points. You could still obtain a full blue set from Honor from farming battlegrounds, but then you had to play rated PvP to obtain conquest. You could get more conquest the higher rating you was in arena or rated battlegrounds, with stronger weapons and cosmetic gear being gated behind 2.2k rating. Similar to all expansions so far, PvP gear for the most part was still heavily favoured due to the resilience provided, and stats were not too important due to reforging, meaning still bar a few exceptions, we're looking at you dragon soul trinkets and legendary daggers or staff, players could get away with only playing PvP to gear up. Mists of Pandaria was about as good as it gets with PvP vendors and gearing. Thanks to the addition of set bonuses and PvP power and resilience made it so you didn't see a PvE item at all. You could get a full blue set from Honor and then work on getting conquest gear from Arena. PvE items were for PvE and PvP items were for PvP. The two did not really mix and as reforging was still in the game, optimal stats were easy to achieve. Warlords of Draenor again kept the same system, this time though with a different take. Items were obtained the same way with honour and conquest vendors, with multiple versions of gear given a wide array of stats. However though, with the removal of resilience and PvP power, PvP items were instead scaled up by a higher item level to that obtainable by PvE when inside of PvP combat. And other than a few cases such as rings providing this stats, 
you could again focus purely on PvP and never have to do another thing and still be at the same level as those doing PvE and other aspects of the game, leaving plenty of time for you to enjoy Ashram. This wasn't good enough for Blizzard though, so they thought they would mix it up yet again with Legion. This time though, they completely removed vendors. The only way to get gear via PvP was to win games and then score on the RNG lottery. They also added a revamped honor system. Instead of capping conquest, you would gain more abilities, artifact power and gold. Gearing became obsolete outside of just equipping the highest item level possible thanks to the addition of stat templates. This meant each spec was given predetermined stats that would up very slightly with the higher item level you had equipped. Trinkets were also unusable inside of rated PvP, but this left players with a sour taste. Although it was easy to gear up and jump into PvP, it required you to still do a lot outside of PvP, mainly farming artifact power. It also left zero room for customization, which brings us to current day, and we all know how gearing is in BFA right now. It's possibly the worst it's ever been. There's no vendors, no templates, barely any catch up mechanics and all gearing is based off RNG. Not to mention all of the other stuff you need to do inside of game to be relevant for PvP. So long are the days of purely focusing on PvP and still being relevant. So with that quick trip down memory lane, let's take a look at what's happening in the future of Shadowlands. As let's face it, I'm sure it cannot get any worse for us PvPers than it is in BFA right now. Shadowlands is set to see as we know the return of PvP vendors. As it stands, there are three in total. First is a vendor selling rare quality gear for a currency called Shadowlands PvP Honor. This is what we can assume to be similar to the Honor currency in previous expansions, meaning you can farm as much of this as you want and it's rewarded from things like normal battlegrounds, skirmishes, and any non-rated PvP scenarios. This rare quality of gear comes with a base eye level of 175, with the weapons being a little lower at 155. To put that into perspective, other than weapons, it's about equal to that of a heroic dungeon, with the weapons being on the same as a normal level dungeon. So whilst this offers a way for you to gear up with only doing PvP and offers a catch up mechanic for alts, the quality of gear really isn't anything to write home about and for the most part will be quickly replaced. Although what this does do is it allows you to purchase gear and not have to rely on RNG, as if you was to gear up in current day only doing PvP content, you're not going to have any guarantee of getting the item that you want and it all just falls down to RNG. The next vendor is the Conquest vendor. Now this offers the same set of items from the PvP vendor, but with a much higher item level, 195 to be exact. To put that into perspective, all we have to go on right now is the loot from Mythic Dungeons, which comes in at a baseline 183 eye level. We're safe to assume based off previous expansions that how you obtain conquest is going to be through rated PvP, with a cap on how much you can obtain each week, similar to what we saw in Cataclysm, Mop and Wad. The weapons obtainable from conquest also require you to earn a set amount of conquest before you can purchase them. And as we expect, the higher rating you get, the more conquest you'll earn. So players with higher rating will get these weapons and upgrades a lot faster. The items currently on these vendors have predetermined stats and there is very limited options. So taking cloth for instance, I'm able to choose only one option for each armor slot and then three for cloak, rings and amulets and four for weapons. So whilst there is vendors, the gear you can get may not have the best stats for your class. For example, as a Shadow Priest, if I want haste versatility, not a single piece of the armor obtainable from this vendor is going to have it, which identifies a huge problem to me. The Conquest vendor not only sells gear and trinkets, but also legendary power recipes. These allow you to buy a utility legendary to add to your gear. Now, the third vendor is essentially an upgrade vendor. Both the Honor gear and Conquest gear is entitled Rank 1. This vendor will allow you to upgrade your gear's item level similar to that of the Benthic gearing system 
we know from Battle for Azeroth. This will then allow you to upgrade your Honor gear with more Honor, and your Conquest gear with more Conquest. We're not too sure on the numbers here, or how many times you can upgrade the gear, but I guess I'd say the Conquest gear can be raised to that of a Mythic Raid piece, and the honor gear to maybe that of a mythic dungeon. All right, so that's all we know for now. Personally though, I see two huge issues here. First is although vendors had success in previous expansions, there was always a reason to wear the PvP gear, be it resilience, PvP power, set bonuses, or gear being higher item level when in PvP combat. There was just always something to distinguish between PvP and PvE gear, and incentivize using the PvP gear for PvP. The second problem is that stats are so important, as we have nothing like the aforementioned resilience and PvP power, or even templates, having the correct stats becomes incredibly important to have. And with no resource like reforging, the stats on your gear need to be correct. The current rendition of PvP vendors on the beta have literally no options. If I want a haste versatility piece as a cloth wearer, I'm damn out of luck. So although we have these vendors back and everyone's happy, I still can't gear up fully using this unless I want to have suboptimal stats. And as with most people, this just doesn't cut it. And where will I have to get my haste versatility items from instead? PvE. And the same goes for trinkets. The only option other than your get out of CC trinket that you need to equip now from the vendor is a stat stick. These OP trinkets that we're for sure see from the new raids or Mythic Plus will all still work in PvP and be required to play at high ratings. So as a summary, yes we're getting PvP vendors back, but this is sadly not something to get excited about in its current format. People don't just want PvP vendors back, they want to be able to gear up via PvP. With that in mind, the upsides are some of the items can be usable, and at the end of the day, it's still a better way to obtain gear than what we have currently. But that's not saying much. Unless something changes though, you'll still need to obtain a large portion of your gear from sources like Mythic Plus and Raiden, not to mention all of the other stuff you still need to do in the game to stay relevant. So before we end this video guys, let us know in the comments what your favourite expansion was in regards to PvP gearing, and what are your thoughts on how it's going to work in Shadowlands going forward. That's going to be it for this video though guys, if you enjoy this type of content and want to keep up to date with all the information you need for Shadowlands, be sure to drop a like, subscribe and ring that bell. Thanks for watching.